Hello and welcome to another Python video. So in this video we are going to create a command line hangman game in Python. So as always let's set up our environment. So I'm going to go to file, new file, Python and I'm just going to save it as hangman.py like that. Okay. Um, so the first thing we need to do is we need to import some necessary modules for our game. So we need to import the random module, which will allow us to choose a random word for the player to guess. And then we also need to use the sys module, which will allow the user to exit the game if the player decides to quit. So first thing, import random and then import sys. I've got to put a space there like that. So once we've done that, we need to create a list of words that our user can guess from. So we could be really mean and we could put hundreds of words we could literally get a copy of the dictionary and literally pile it in there but for purposes of this video and just because this is kind of like showing you a basis of how to make it and then it's up to you to kind of make it a little bit more um difficult if that's the way you want to go um we're just going to use probably about 15 words so if we do um, a word list so words equals and we're going to create a dictionary or a list of words in python um, and it's going to be, so we're going to do it for fruits. So let's do apple, let's do um, banana, banana, I can never spell banana. Let's do cherry, that, and I always forget to do my little. So I've closed that one, comma that one, comma that one. Cherry, um, what else can we do? Um, Let's do date. Let's do um, elderberry. I hope that's a fruit. And then let's do um, fig. Let's think. What else could we do? Um, we could do grape. Um, grape. And then we can do, um, let's do honeydew, that. Um, notice I'm only doing single words, I'm not doing multiple words, I'm trying to make it a little bit easy. Kiwi. And then let's do lemon. How many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Five more. Um, orange. I think I know that many fruits. Pear. Um, lime. Comma. I'm trying to think of fruits now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Um, Probably all screaming at me, all these different types of fruits, but mine's just gone blank. Oh my days. I'm just going to leave it there because I can't remember any more fruits. So we've done that. We've got us fruits. There's probably like 13 there. And then we want to randomize them. So we're going to use the dot random function that we imported earlier. So we are going to do word equals random dot choice. And then we're going to pass into it the list that we've just created there. So now we've done that, we need, we need to initialize some variables so we can keep track of the player's progress. So the first one that we're going to initialize is the guest letters. Now with guest letters, we want it to be so that it attaches itself to kind of like a list so that we build it up each time someone enters. So we're going to use a list for that. And then remaining guesses. At this point, we are going to set the variable to six, so they can only have six guesses. Now, that is just preference. I mean, you can set it to whatever you want. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a loop. So we'll create the main game loop. Game loop. So this loop will continue running until the player has either correctly guessed the word or used up all of their guesses. So we're going to say while true. I want you to display the current progress 
and we're going to do display equals and at the moment we don't know what the display is so we're just going to put some braces some speech marks like that then we're going to say a four letter in word i, I want you to check oh my dog just came in and scared me then let me minimize just had to pause the recording there while I just got over the little heart attack that I got from my dog walking in and busting through my door. Anyway, I'm back. So, what were we So we're saying for letter in Word, we want to check if that letter is in the list of guest letters that we've created. So if letter is in guest letters, then we want to display the letter like that um letter else we want to display equals to like that and then we are going to print display regardless like that. perfect so what I just want to do here before we move on is I just want to explain this little line here. So this code in Python means it's going to concatenate a hyphen to an existing string that's stored in the variable that we call display. So assuming that display is already defined as a string variable with the plus and the equals, which we have here. So we've got display plus or equals to letter. So we've defined it. Um, this operator is used to concatenate the hyphen at the end of the string stored in the display. That results in an updated value for display that includes the hyphen and therefore it will display what is in store, stored in the display method or in this case variable. So we have just, oh, there we go. So we have just added that little section there. So what we need to do now is we need to check if there is a win. So I'm just concerned that one. So that should be linked underneath the print, the, the four. So that's good. That's fine. I was just checking that my tabbing was correct. So while we're still in the intro, we're going to check for a win. Okay. And how we're going to do that is we're going to say if, wrong one, like that, um, is not in display then I want you to print. So basically, if we've got rid of all the hyphens that's going to come up, uh, we are going to print, congratulations, um, you guessed the word. Like that. But if not, actually no, let's do a system exit here. So we're going to exit. So we're going to say, look, we're going to exit the, the, the uh, game now because we've actually finished. So we'll add that section in. However, what if it doesn't? So if it doesn't, we're going to get the player's guess and we're going to keep trying that. So get the player's guess. And to do this, we're going to say guess equals input. Guess a letter. And what we're going to do this time is if you notice, all of my um, words are in lower letters, lower case. We're going to actually make it so that the input that the user enters is also in lowercase. So we're going to do dot lower like that. And then we are going to uh, check if the guess is valid. So we need to make sure that the valid the user is entering a valid guess. So we're going to say if length of guess does not equal, right, does not equal or is not alpha is alpha there is alpha then we are yeah that's right we are going to print i'll sort that problem in one second um i think it's because i forgot my one there there we go. So it's not if the get length of the guess is not equal to one, so it's not one character, or it's not an, a, a letter. It might be a number, for example. Then we are going to print in valid guess. Please enter a single letter like that. 
and then we're going to continue so we're going to let them keep guessing basically so then we're going to say if the guess in guess letters like that then we're going to say you already guessed that letter so if the guess is the same as a guess that they've already done previously it's like the letter a for example we're going to tell the user that it's already been guessed Oh, mean capitals. Okay. And then we're going to say continue because we're going to let them guess again. Like that. So now what we need to do is we need to add the guess to the list of guess letters. So how we do that. Is we say guess letters dot append guess so a dot append means add so add the guess letters to the array or the list that we've called guess letters here okay so wherever the user guesses so wherever the user inputs here we have asked them to append add it to the the list called guest letters and that will how we that's how we keep track of the letters that are being added in so once we've done that we need to check if the word is correct or the guess sorry if the guess is correct so we're going to say if guess in word we're going to print correct we'll put an exclamation mark on the end because why not else we are going to say remove remaining guesses. We're going to uh, take one off of it. So take one from the guess. So you start with six lives. You're going to then have five lives because you've just removed some of them. And then we're going to print incorrect. Okay. And then we're going to say you have guesses remaining. Remaining, can't even spell it then. And then we're just going to step out of that little speech marks and we're going to say dot format and then we're going to put remaining guesses in speech marks, uh, brackets even, like that. Um, I'm just questioning whether it's going to work with double speech marks, but we'll try it and then if not, we'll just make that change. And then we're going to do the same thing down here. <clears throat> excuse me and we're, this time we're going to check for a loss so we're going to say basically we can actually just copy and paste and then edit so i'm going to copy that paste it there just check my formatting i'm happy with that so if remaining guesses is equal to um zero so double equals print and then we don't need the else, we don't need that, we just need this. Print, sorry, you ran out of guesses. And then we're just going to take that out and keep that in the middle. And then we're just going to put dot, full stop, the word was. And then we're going to, instead of format string this time, we're going to put format word. Like that. So it will actually show us what the word was. Okay. And then we're going to do sys.exe. That. So. Once you have completed that, I think that's pretty much it. So let's test it. Let's save it. Let's run it in a Python file. Uh, okay, congratulations, we've run the code. So we've got a slight error. Let's just check this error. Okay, I'm just going to run it again. There we go, that one works. I didn't do anything to it. We didn't even have an error at the end. It's just that bit there that says, congratulations, you guessed the word. So all I had to do was, I didn't really do anything. I just reran it, to be fair. Um, Let's try it again. So let's uh, close off the PowerShell. Let's bin the PowerShell and let's try again. 
Yeah, that works. Okay, let's guess a letter. So let's start with um, A. There's one in there. Now, it's all fruit, so I could cheat and go back up and look, but I'm not going to. P. Okay. Um, uh, P again. No, nope, we've already guessed that letter, so we know that works. G. Ah, I know where it is, I know where it is. R and then E. Congratulations, you get the word. Let's do it again and see if we can get it wrong this time so we can test it all works. Oh wow, that's a long one. It's gonna be honeydew I get. Oh no, it's not. Okay, I'll have my um my guess back. A E Oh god. Gosh, right. I O U F. Incorrect. Zero guesses remaining. You saw you run out of guesses, the word was elderberry. So that fully works, okay? Now there are lots of things you can do to improve this game. So this is the basic hangman, ga hangman game, but there are many ways to improve it. So you could add a feature that allows a player to choose a category. So they could use fruits, animals, countries, but it only randomise words from that list. You could create a more sophisticated method for selecting words, such as scraping a list of words from a website or using an API to access a database. You could also implement a graphical interface using a GUI library, such as TKINT or Pygame. And you could also add some sound effects or music to make the game more engaging. And then another thing you could do is you could allow the player to enter a full word instead of guessing one letter at a time. So I knew the word grape, but I could only enter letters. So if I um, knew what the word was, I could choose a, an option such as pressing the value of one. And that would allow me, <coughs> excuse me, to enter in a, a full word rather than just a letter. So... That is pretty much it for today. Um, I think we might start looking at creating the GUI version of this in the next video. Um, it seems like the next logical step. We're probably going to use Tkinter, but I am going to have a look at PyQt as well, because uh, that looks a little bit interesting. But for now, you have created a fully functioning command line hangman. Have fun and happy coding.